Hey folks, welcome back to chapter number nine, step number five, changing the Nevo slider title and captions. Now the large Nevo slider used in the primary layout includes a title and a caption. We use very similar coding for the secondary page, what we call the Nevo slider small, but it does not include a title and a caption. Um, mostly because it's such a small component and the image is so much smaller, there really isn't much room to fit that in the page. So we've omitted it just to keep things clean and tidy and uh, functional without uh, killing the header of the page within the site. Now let's go back to our editor. As we are updating a library page, one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to open or preview the page that uses that component so we can make a before and after comparison and make sure that the updates we're making are as we expect them to be. So we'll open up the index page in Firefox so we can sort of quickly preview our changes as we're making them. Okay with that done we're going to open up the library and the Nevo slider and the Nevo slider.htm page. Now each image in the page up top has a heading and a corresponding paragraph and a view page button down below. Now the changes for this is very straightforward and this is why we've named them heading 1, 2, 3, and 4 so you can quickly identify which heading and paragraph matches up with each image and of course the images are sort of stacked 1, 2, 3, and 4 in your page. Okay. So to change a heading what I suggest you do is here's a little trick. I put my, my clicker, I put my mouse on heading one up top where you see h3 in the quick tag selector yeah instead of sort of grabbing stuff and then you know new heading that that'll work 99 out of 100 times and it works great but sometimes we lose focus we select something we lose focus and we hit or do something and then we uh, new title and suddenly it's no longer an h3 tag if we don't keep the original formatting it won't display correctly so here's a little trick to make sure that we keep the original formatting for our uh, headings and our paragraphs. And I do this sort of out of habit by now, and that is when I'm changing a heading, for example, I put my cursor there, I click on the H3 tag up in my quick tag selector, then I type new heading. By doing that, I've never had an issue with my web editor fat fingering something and changing it from a heading to a paragraph or removing the paragraph or doing other weird things that you just can't figure out. Um, same for the paragraph. If I'm typing a new text by habit, most folks will just grab the text like so. And this is, you know, this is new info. And 99 out of 100 times, that'll work just wonderfully. That other one time out of a hundred, something will happen, and instead of having a paragraph wrapped around your text, it'll switch to none, and things will look weird. And trust me, with the amount of support that I've done in over the past 12 years, I've seen all sorts of things happen, and this does happen. And it's just the way the web editors work. They're not perfect. They'll work most of the time, but there are methods or tricks to ensuring that you get the proper result every time. And one of those re tricks is to, when you're changing a paragraph, put your cursor on the text that you want to change, especially a simple line of text like this. Click on the paragraph tag in the quick tag selector, and then this is my new uh, description. Da -da 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 -da. All right. Now, when you're happy with the changes that you've made for your titles and your captions, Okay, you can now move on to your view page, and that's the little button we see right here as an example. And by the way, this is not present in all of the different templates. You may not have a view page button because aesthetically it may not have fit into your particular template. And that's sort of something, a decision we make at the time when we build the template. Uh, where do we put that button? Is it going to work? Is it just going to be extra fluff on the page? There's a lot of questions that we sort of run through and it really depends on the goal that we had for that particular design. Did we want it to be super simple, slick and straightforward or do we want some more functionality and some more bells and whistles? Anyways, this little button right here will link to whatever page you want it to. The idea behind using an Evo slider is it's not just an image tool, it's a navigation tool. If you have events or you have products or you have uh, certain things that you want the Nevo slider to tell your visitors about, you can put a picture of it here, a description here, and a link to it right here. And this is where you just simply use your hyperlink tool. Let's see if I can get this into the video here. To change the view page, you can right click, select hyperlink properties, 
and then link to whatever page in your site you want that particular uh, view page button to link to. And that's all there is to it. And as always, we're working with a library page. You'll see the asterisks. You make your save, keep the page open, go back to Firefox, we refresh. Okay, there's our new heading. Oh, look, a typo. Here's my description. There's my view page button. It links to the FAQs page. I can tell because when I hover over it, it shows me down here in my browser. Great, but obviously I made a mistake with the heading up here, so I'm going to go back and I can do one of two things. I can reselect it and retype it, or I can press Control Z on my keyboard, go back to where I started, and do it over again. Trust me, a whole lot easier to keep the library page open. Control Z or Control Z your way back and start over again than it is to close it and then figure out there's a problem and have to dig back through your library pages, open it up, and try and figure out where things got screwed up again. And uh, hopefully that will be all we have to do for this. So, we'll move on to the next one. Thanks very much.